A big hello to Global Metal Apocalypse from Belize. Uh, my name is Andy Chuk. I'm vocalist of Kill the Whore, Lasher Zombie, Hanaf Pishan and, and other projects. Well, um, COVID-19 is something that affected everyone. Everyone who had plans, concerts or weddings or parties, all of that was cancelled. But um, for my projects, we were a little um, inactive before COVID-19. But being at home, spending time with the family and having a lot of free time, new ideas have come. So um, I've been starting to, to compose new music and also um, a revival of, of of that um, energy of, of wanting to do a, a live show so as soon as the opportunity comes uh, we will surely be giving a, a live show Belize was very strict when it came to COVID-19 we had 18 cases and, and two deaths and um, the government closed the borders um, things that businesses that were found unessential were closed down so a, a beauty salons, barber shop, bars, church, a, a gyms and all that was closed down the only people that uh, that were working were uh, people who work on grocery stores agriculture workers and of course the doctors so uh, people were not allowed to be on the streets unless um, you're going to buy food or, or medicine. So if you were found on the street just loitering around or, or visiting family members, you could be arrested and you could be fined also. Um, and also you uh, had to have a, a mask on. If you are found without a mask, you, uh, you can be jailed also. And uh, uh, the fine was over $5,000. And the shops they were open for a certain time after 8 uh, p.m. no one should be on the streets but um, all this um, stuff you know along with the people taking uh, the uh, precautions of, of, of washing their hands and, 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 and protecting their family and children um, helped to, to, to make COVID-19 not to, to spread um, it has been nearly 55, I think, or 57 days that we have been COVID free. Uh, from this first wave, everybody um, recuperated. So um, after the last person recuperated, uh, it was like 55 or 57 days. Uh, so uh, certain things have been, um, uh, laws have been. Um, um, relaxing so people can uh, con uh, can go out more and as time go um, things will be uh, more relaxed uh, until now we have two cases we were imported cases as soon as they came they were put into quarantine uh, but according um, school supposed to uh, to open August uh, myself living in in a small little village uh, community one of the plants that, that some people have started to do is planting, you know, planting their own food at home and, and not depending too much on on, on, on the government or, or outsiders. Uh, COVID-19 affected the, the metal scene here in Belize because everyone who had plans of of doing uh, live shows or, or going outside of the country to play, uh, everything was cancelled. But we are hoping that um, as time goes, um, we will surely start to have uh, metal shows. Um, I have to say that uh, COVID-19 has been a big awakening for, for everyone, uh, especially to start uh, working more um, as a community, started to plant our own food uh, and, and not depending uh, too much on the system. Our system, uh, COVID-19 sho shows us that the system that we have developed um, um, is, is very fragile. Uh, myself coming from an uh, indigenous community, uh, Yucatec Mayan community, our um, elders and our, uh, our grandparents, they were very independent of that system. They used to plant their own food, 
they did not have money they wanted something they simply exchange it exchange food for clothes or, or stuff like that so money worth it nothing now we are very dependent on this system people have stopped planting have stopped um, yeah, producing their own food now we are dependent and i think covid 19 showed us how dependent we are so i want to, to uh, send a big thanks to uh, metal global apocalypse now the metalheads in the world this is lusher zombie singer <clears throat>